So let's immediately get at it. How much did I get it for sale? Twelve dollars and ninety-nine cents at Ross. Comparable value of forty. Sometimes you could see these online, ranging from fifty dollars to sixty. Just to refresh our memories with regards to what is included in this purchase: figure, alternate handsets, effects, and flight backpack. So some assembly is required of the flight pack or the flight backpack. So just figure it out as for orientation so this is the way <laughs> so you just have to align the connection point with the hose align the connection point with the hose and snap it in place and possibly give this to a Mandalorian or the Hydra Stumper. Okay, so this is the end of the propulsion system and you have flight effects. So this connect to these ends. That way. Okay, so just a look, take a look at the um, other end of the connection point so this connects to the back of the hydra stumper figure so let's measure this guy up height of 9.5 and width of 5.5 so those are the dimensions um, if you're going to display this in your case so there's going to be other figures so that is the space that this figure is going to take now as for balance test so I have seen other videos about this action figure how it um, really topples forward backward sideways or let's do a topple test for short so the easiest topple test that I could do is going to spin it around my Lazy Susan review table. And as you could see, even if I change motion, I really could say that this action figure is well balanced. So let's try another pose. So action figure pose number two. So I've splayed the legs and unevenly distributed the weight of this action figure. So let's do the topple test number two. Let's do a different direction. Now if this figure is not balanced, it's going to really topple easily. So there you go. This figure is not going to fall down easily in your display case okay since we already established the stability test let us take a look at the details of the action figure so i'm uh, revolving the review table as slowly as i could so you guys could take a look at the details of this really humongous and highly detailed action figure okay so four points of articulation the head is on a ball joint so we have multiple points of articulation for the head and with the way that the head is designed it's going to articulate really well and i guess it's also because of the clearance of the neckline to the uh, helmet or the head unit that we have really nice articulation points now for the body of the figure we have this plastic material which acts as something of an overlay to hide the joint or the waistline joint so the waistline joint we have multiple articulation points on that it's just uh, hard to do it because of the uh, thickness and the chunkiness of this action figure so multiple points of articulation also on this area so that is for the body articulation now for articulation of the arms we have this now is that going to hinder arm articulation the answer is no so it moves easily out of the way when you do action figure poses 
and actually when you rotate the arm full 360 this piece goes with the entire arm now we have a single point of articulation for the elbow and as for the hands we have a hinge and rotation for the hand but because of how the forearm guards is designed on this action figure somehow this area is going to interfere if you wish to splay the hands this way but uh, since this action figure goes by the name of Hydra Stamper I'd rather have fists on this action figure now for the legs, we have multiple points of articulation for the legs, standard Marvel Legends articulation points. We have rotation for the thigh. Ah, yeah. We have a single point of articulation or bend for the knee. And that is understandable for really big figures like this. Once Marvel Legends goes to figures uh, like this these big figures it's going to be just single point of articulation for the foot so this is how the foot is designed and we have rocker and a hinge marvel legends hydra stamper with marvel legends hulk buster Marvel Legends Hydra Stamper with Marvel Legends Iron Monger. Marvel Legends Hydra Stamper with another green guy, the Incredible Hulk. So the Hydra Stamper is traditionally paired with a Captain Carter action figure because of the what if wave. But your rules, your collection, your display. So I'm going to display it with my World War II Steve Rogers Captain America. So if you like this review, like, comment, and subscribe to help me grow my channel. And see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review.